to James chapter 1, but we're in our real life series 2018. This is my fourth time to uh, fourth time to teach that this, this year. And it uh, just kind of seems strange that I've only taught four Wednesdays and it's already March, so. But I guess I was not here for five Wednesdays in a row, so that's kind of wild. But uh, we're, we're on our Wednesday night Bible study and I think coming here together and doing this is so important. Ja, ja me oleme siin kolmapäevadi kokku tulnud ja õppinud ja ma usun, et see on väga oluline, mis me siin teeme. I believe when we come to church on a Wednesday night, it's what helps to fuel us. Ma usun, et kui me tuleme kolmapäeva õhtuti siin siia kogudusse, siis see annab meile kütust juurde. And if you want to run with power, you need something to burn. Ja kui sul on vaja äh, kuskile edasi liikuda väega, siis sul on vaja ka mingisugus kütust, mida põletada. And so it's my desire, my prayer tonight. Ja see on minu tänane palve ja igatsus. Is that tonight when you hear this message that it's going to help you to burn. Et täna kui sa kuuled seda sõnumit, siis aitab sul põleda. It's going to fuel the fire to help you to finish your week. Ja see annab sinu tulele leeki ja, ja kütust juurde, et sa saaksid nädala lõpuni korralikult põleda. I want to see you fulfill your destiny. Sest ma tahan näha seda, kuidas sina saadad täide ja saada korda oma oma I want to see you changed. Ja ma tahan näha, kuidas sina muutud. I want to see you move on from where you are. Ma tahan näha seda, kuidas sina liigud sellest paigast, kus sa oled edasi. How many want to go on? Kui veel tahavad edasi liiguda. Amen. I don't want to stay where I am. Mina ei taha jääda si kinni sinna, kus ma olen. I don't want our church to stay where we are. Ma ei taha, et meie kogudus jääks kinni sinna, kus ma oleme. I want us to have a hunger and a desire for the next thing. Ma tahan, et meil oleks nälg ja igatsus uute asjade järgi. And what's the next thing for you? Ja mis on see järgmine asi sinu jaoks? Where does God want you to go? What does God want you to and I don't want you to get stuck. I don't want you to get stuck where you are. I want you to know that there's so much more for you. And you can accomplish what it is that God has put in your heart to do. And so don't get stuck. Become more than you are. Saa enamaks kui see, kes sa oled. And we do that. Ja me teeme seda. By getting into the presence of God. Läbi selle, et me läheme Jumala ligiolusse. Amen. Amen. Come and spend some time to hear the word. Et veedame aega Jumala ligiolusse, et kuulda sõna. And then you go and spend some time in your personal time ja with the Lord. Ja siis sina võtta ka isiklikult aega, et veeta aega koos temaga. And you submit to his word. Alistu tema sõnale. Submit to his ways. Alistu tema teedele. And we will have great success. Ja meid saadab edu seda. So thank you for coming. God bless you. No, Ja tai tähed, et tuid, võite koju minna. James chapter 1. Ei, Jakobus esimene peade. James chapter 1, verse 23. Jakobus 1, 23. It says, anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at himself in the mirror. Jakobus 1, 23. Sest kui keegi sõna kuuleb, aga selle järgi ei tee, siis ta sarane mehega, kes vaatleb oma ihuliku palet peeglist. And after looking at himself, he goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. Ta vaatles ennast, läks minema ja unustas varsti, mis sugune ta oli. How many of you have looked in the mirror and forgotten what you look like? Palju teist on kunagi peeglisse vaalanud ja unustanud, milline see välja näeb. And so what do we do? Ja siis mida me teeme? We go find the next mirror, right? We siis me läheme, otsime juba järgmise peegli üles, et kus yeah, me vaatame. Was my hair good enough today? Kule, kas mu suvaing on ikka korrastana? You know, does, does, does what I'm wearing, does it match? Et kas see, mis mul on seljas, on, on see nagu, kas see soovib? Okay. There, I'm doing okay. Kuidas mul siit tagant tundub, on okay. Yeah. We, we, we like to look at ourselves. Me ei meelib ennast vaadata niimoodi. And, and the Bible says when we hear, ütleb, et kui meie kuuleme, and then we do not do what it says. Ja me ei tee seda, mida me, meile ei öeldakse. It's like we look in the mirror and we forget. Ja siis on nagu me vaataksime peeglis ja unustaksime ära, meil me välja nägime. I've looked in the mirror sometimes and I think, who is that guy? Ma olen vahest vaadanud peeglis ja mõelnud, et kes see tüüp mulle seal otsa vahit? Because I'm expecting to see the 25-year-old Barry and he's, he's nowhere to be found. Sest ma ootan sealt, et mulle vaatab vastu 25-aastane pastor Barry, aga vaata, seda ta enam ei ole. And I'm like, who is that guy? Ma ootan, kuule, kes see tüüp seal on? What happened to him? Mi- mis, mis selle tüüviga juhtus? You know, and so sometimes we are surprised when we really take time to look. Ja, ja vahest me võime väga üllatunud olla, kui me tõesti võtame aega selleks ja vaadata, ja mis meil seal peeglis on. But we really know what we look like. Aga me tegelikult ju teame, millist me välja näeme. How many know when there's a picture? Kui meil teavad, et kui on mingisugune pilt, mis tehakse. And you're in the picture somewhere. Ja sina oled selle pildi peal. That you're the first person you look for. Siis sina oled esimene inimene, keda sa selle pildi pealt otsid. Right, this is my wife. 
If it's a group picture, and everybody else looks great, but she's got maybe a little a wrong smile, Aga tal võib-olla näiteks naeratus kuidagi veider. Or maybe she has her eyes closed. Või tal on silmad kinni. 30 other people could look awesome. Siis 30 teist inimest võivad väga super kennalt välja näha. But when she doesn't look good, oh that's a horrible picture. Aga kui tema ei näe selle pildi peal hea välja, siis on nagu oppi kui kole pilt. No, it's a great picture. Look at everybody. We're all happy. See on super äge pilt. Vaata kui õnnelikult. No, 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 that's a horrible picture. Throw that one away. Ei, see on kohutav pilt. Viskas see minema. Why? Because we're looking at ourselves. We want to know, we want to say, I, I want to look better than that. I don't care what everybody else looks like. And so we really, we know what we look like. So, the point that the Bible is making here. It's when you look in a mirror. And you walk away. Ja sa kõnnid minema. Really, you know what you look like. Siis tegelikult sa ju tead, milline sa välja näed. Unless you're stupid. Kui sa just tõsiselt ilikas ei ole. How many people are stupid in here? Kui palju, et siin on nii loll. On siin mõni rumal inimene, on siin mõni loll. Oh, thank God, I don't have to freak that. Ma on hea meel, et ma ei pidan seda ja jutlustama. Listen, what the Bible is telling us. Aga mida piibel meile ütleb. Is if we hear the word and we don't do it. On see, et kui me kuuleme Jumala sõna ja me ei tee seda. It's stupid. Siis see on rumalus. It's stupid. It's unrumalous. We keep reading here in verse 25. It says, "Whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do." Kahjuna viies salm ütleb, kes on aga kummargil vaadanud vabaduse täiusliku seadusesse ja selles ka käib, ei ole unustav kuulja, vaid tegude tegija, see on õnnis oma tegemises. When we look into this, this word that gives us life. Kui me vaatame ja süveneme sellesse sõnasse, mis annab meil elu. When we look into this word that gives us freedom. Kui me vaatame sellesse sõnasse, mis annab meile vabaduse. Meaning it's giving us something that we did not have. Mis tähendab, et annab meile midagi, mida meil ei olnud. It's shown us a better way. Ta näitab meile paremat teed. Man, when the Bible is speaking to us when the Holy Spirit makes something real. Siis kui piibel räägib meile, kui püha vaim muudab meie sees midagi reaalseks. Take what you hear. Siis võtta see endaga kaasa, mida sa kuuled. Don't forget it. Ära unusta seda. But apply it to your life. Vaid rakenda seda oma elus. This is why I encourage people to take notes. Selle pärast ma julgustangi inimestel märkmeid teha. This is why I encourage people to, to go back and listen to messages again. Selle pärast ma julgustan inimestele minna tagasi ja kuulata uuesti juttusi, mis varem on olnud. So that olnud. you remember what it is that you've heard. Et sa mäletaksid ja meenutaksid endale, mida sa oled kuulnud. So you can apply these principles and these truths to your life. Selleks, et sa saaksid rakendada neid tõdesid enda elus. That we are not stupid. Et me ei ole rumalad. But that we would be blessed in everything that we do. I want you to be blessed in everything that you do. I want whatever you put your hand to to prosper. How many of you want that? You start a business, it will prosper. If you go to work, what you do will stand out above everybody else. When you're in school, what you do stands out above everybody else. This is what God calls us to do. But he says, I want you to do it my way. You know, there's an old song. Well, never mind. All right. <laughs> Do it God's way, not your way. Tee asju nii nagu Jumal tahab, mitte nii nagu sina tahab. Do it God's way. Tee seda nii nagu Jumal ütleb. Do it God's way. Tee seda Jumala viisil. So James is telling us when we hear the word and we don't do it. Jakobus ütleb, et kui meie kuuleme sõna, Jumala sõna, aga ei tee seda. It's like seeing yourself in a mirror and knowing that you're a mess. Siis on nagu, sa vaatad peeglisse ennast ja näed, et sul on juuksid sassis, mis iganes näed kole välja. And you don't do anything to change it. Ja sa ei võtta midagi ette, et seda muuta. Because you think, ah, it's just too much effort. Sest sa mõtled, kuule, see lõuab liiga palju pingutamist. We put so much effort on, you know, making our hair right or putting our clothes together right or putting our makeup on right. Sest me tegelikult võtame ju eriliselt aega selleks, et sätida oma juukseid ilusti ja panna meiki peale ja panna ilusti korralikult riidesse. We spend so much time on all the outward. Me niivõrd palju tegelikult veedame ja pühendame sellele, et me väljast poolt näeksime head välja. And we know we're messed up on the inside. Ja me tegelikult teame, et seespidiselt kõik pole korras. But we do nothing. To help to fix that. Aga me ei võtta midagi ette, et seal mindegi muuta. And we look into the word and we think, ah, oh, I wish that was me, but it's not. Ja me vaatame Jumala sõnasse ja loeme sealt ja mõtleme, et 
Oi, kuidas ma tahaks, ma oleks selline, aga ma ei ole ju. Ah, I wish I could be like that, but I can't. Ma tahaksin olla selline, aga, aga no, ma ei saa. And then we just disqualify it. Ja siis me lihtsalt diskvalis- diskvalifitseerime ennast. We think, oh, that's great for people like, like Ayn. And, ja me ütleme, et kuule, et Ainil on ju kõik super. You know, all, these, all these spiritual guys ja, who kõik, are examples. Kõik need vaimulikud vennad, kes meil meie ümber on ja on eeskujuks meile. But man, I'm just so broken and I'm such a mess. Aga mina olen niivõrd murtud ja, ja selline segadus. And I just don't want to take the effort to change. Ja ma ei taha lihtsalt võtta seda aega, et pingutada, et teha asju korda. How many know anybody who's rising to a higher place in life? They're putting in some effort to do that. Kui palud, mõistavad seda, et kui keegi oma elus on tõusmas kõrgematele tasemetele, siis ta pingutab selle nimel. Nobody just rises just automatically. Mitte keegi ei tõuse lihtsalt nii sama. The world that we live in is pulling you down. See see maailm, kus me elame, kisub meid all. And if you don't do anything, it will either hold you where you're at or pull you further down. Ja kui sina mina ka oma ette ei võtta, siis see kas hoiab sind uh, ühe koha peal kinni või kisub sind veel alla poole. How many realize that by now? Kas enamust ei saa sellest aru right? ja. And so for us to move forward, we're going to have to put in the effort. Nii et selleks, et meie saaksime edasi liikuda, me peame pingutama selle nimel. Anything I've ever got in my life. Mida iganes ma olen oma elus kunagi saanud. Any success that I've ever had. Mis iganes võit või edukus, mis mul on olnud. Any victory that I've ever been able to, to see in my life. Iga võit, mida ma oma elus olen näinud. It didn't just happen. Ei juhtunud nii sama. It happens because you put in the effort. Need asjad juhtusid selle tõttu, et sa pingutasid. It happens because I trusted the Lord. Need asjad juhtuvad, kuna ma olen usaldanud Jumalat. And I saw where I was wrong and I did my best to change. Ja ma nägin, kus ma eksisin ja, ja ma andsin oma parima, et muutuda. And I give it up for the Lord and I say I want to do it your way. Ja ma olen annud selle Jumala kätte öelnud, et kuule ma tahan teha asju nii nagu sina tahad. And I come out the other side and it's better. Ja ma tulen teise poolt välja ja ma näen, et asju on parem. So don't look at my life and just think oh it's just the way he is. Ja ta ravat minu elu peale ja mõtle, et kuule no ta lihtsalt on selline. No, I've, I've, I've worked hard to get to where I am. Ei, ma olen kõvasti pingutanud ja vaevanud selleks, et jõuda sinna, kus I've ma olen. I put in effort to change. Ma olen pingutanud selleks, et muutuda. And listen, I'm still putting in effort to change. Ja tead, ma siia maani pingutan. I'm still wanting to be, be, be better. Ma siia maani pingutan, sest ma tahan olla parem. And so we're not going to stay where we're at. We're going to fulfill the call of God. Nii et me ei jää lihtsalt kinni sinna, kus me oleme, vaid me täidame saada korda Jumala plaani. And so it's going to take some effort from you. Aga see nõuab sinult pingutust. How many you know the effort isn't fun? Kui palju mõistavad, et pingutamine ei ole just lõbus? Especially when it's dealing with you. Eriti kui asjad puudutavad sind. Yeah, I'd rather put effort to deal with her. Ei, ma pigem pingutaksin selle nimel, et teda aidata kuidagi. Then put in effort to deal with me. Selleks, et pingutada enda jaoks. Right? I'd rather Eriti. encourage him. Ei, ma pigem julgustan kedagi teist. Rather than try to build up myself. Kui et ma üritan ise ennast üles ehitada. Because it's easier. Sest teisi julgustada kõvasti kergem. When you can point the finger. Kui sa saad nii-öelda sõrvega näidata. And say, man, you need to make the adjustments. Ja öelda, kuule mees, sa pead tegema muutusi. And I know God will be with you and help you. Ja ma tean, et Jumal on sinuga ja aitab sind. I know you can do it. Ja ma tean, et sa suudad seda. I mean, no, that's a whole lot easier. Ja kui sa saad aru, et seda on kõvasti kergem teha. And look in the mirror and say, man, you better make some adjustments. Kui et sa vaatad ise peeglis ja ütled, et kuule mees, sul on vaja muutusi teha. God will be with you and he'll help you, but you have to do it. Jumal on sinuga ja ta aitab sind, aga, aga sina pead pingutama. Ah, siis ma ütled, ah, not really. Mitte, I don't, I don't believe that. Ma ei tea, kas ma usun seda, mida ma just endal ütlesin. I've got time. Mul on aega küll aga. Jesus isn't coming back today anyway. Jesus ju täna ei tule veel tagasi. So I've got time. Nii et küll mul aega on. Don't waste another day. Ära raiska järjekordselt päeva. My message to you tonight, if I can get to it. Minu sõnum täna, kui ma jõuan sinna. Is that you need to move out from where you are. On see, et sa pead välja liikuma selles kohas, kus sa oled. Start submitting yourself to God and his word. Ja aga maalistuma Jumalale ja tema sõnale. So that you can be better. Selleks, et sina võiksid saada paremaks God ja olla parem. you to be better. Sest Jumal tahab, et sina oleksid parem. If you hear the word and do it. Kui sa kuuled Jumala sõna ja teed seda. You will be blessed in the doing. Siis sa selle tegemises saad olema õnistatud. And so when we come to church and and God speaks something to your heart and you're leaving like man that's awesome. Nii, kui me tuleme kogudusse ja me kuuleme midagi Jumalalt ja saame selle kätte, siis me ütleme, "Ah, oh, kui väga. I'm righteous. Ma olen õige. I know that I'm righteous. Ma tean, et ma olen õige. I can do all things through Christ. Ma suudan teha kõike läbi Kristuse. I've got authority in life and I can pray. Mul on meelevald elus ja ma võin palvetada. How many were here on Sunday? Kes oli pühapäeval kohal? Just a little reminding of what we talked. <laughs> Lihtsalt natuke need tuletame meelde. All right. Man, that's awesome. Kui on väga. 
Don't let Tuesday come along and you've already forgotten. Ja ära nüüd teisipäeval unusta juba ära, mis sa pühapäeval kuulsid. Because James says you're stupid. Sest Jakobus ütleb, et kuule sa et rumal. You're stupid. You're like somebody looks at himself in a mirror and then forgets what he looks. Et rumal, sa nagu unustad ära, sa nagu mees, kes vaatas peeglis ja unustad ära, mille nüüd välja näeb. He says apply the word. Ja ütleb, et rakenda ellu seda sõna. And you'll be blessed in what you do. Ja sa saad olla õnnistatud selles, mida sa teed. And so we hear and then we do it. Nii et kui me kuuleme, siis me ka teeme. And then we hear and we do it. Ja me kuuleme ja me teeme. And we hear it and we do it. Ja me kuuleme ja me teeme seda. And we hear it and we do it. Ja me kuuleme Jumala sõna ja me teeme selle järgi. And we hear and we do it. Ja me kuuleme ja me teeme ja me kuuleme ja me teeme. Right? And blessed are those that will do that. Ja õnnistatud on need, kes teevad nii. Blessed are those on need, that will apply what they know. Kes rakendavad elu, elu seda, mida nad on õppinud ja kuulnud. That will use what they've been given. Ja nad kasutavad seda, mis neil on antud. To get better. Selleks, et muutuda paremaks. If all you want to do is come and hear something and, and make, it, make you feel good. Kui kõik, mida sa tahad teha, on niiselt tulla siia ja kuulda midagi head, et seal oleks parem tunne pärast. You're never going to walk in what the Bible wants you to walk in. Siis sa täielikult ei saa käima selles, millest Biblia räägib, et, et Jumal tahab, et sa käiks. You're never going to know this blessing that the Bible is talking about. Sa ei saa kunagi tunnma seda täieliku õnnistust, millest Biblia räägib. You know, go with me to Matthew chapter 7. Läheme edasi Matteuse evangeeliumise 7. peadukki. Matthew 7, 24 and 25. Matteuse 7, 24 ja 25 salmid. It says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice, Jesus says, is like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. Matteus 7.24. Iga üks nüüd, kes neid mu sõnu kuuleb ja nende järgi teeb, on nagu arukas mees, saranev aruka mehega, kes ehitas oma maja kaljule. And so Jesus is talking here. Jeesus räägib siin. And he said, when you hear these words, ja ta ütles, et kui sa kuuled neid sõnu and you put them into practice, ja rakendad neid ellu, that's wise. siis see on väga tark tegu. James says if you don't do it you're stupid. Jesus said if you do it you're wise. Ja Jakobus ütleb et kui sa ei tee seda siis oled rumal. Jeesus ütleb et kui sa teed siis sa oled tark. And Jesus goes on to describe this. He says when the rains come down and the streams rise and the winds blow and beat against that house yet it will not fall because it had a foundation on the rock. Kas kem visalme Jeesus ütleb ja sadas padu vihma ja tuli veevood ja puhusid tuuled ning söösi vastu seda maja aga see ei varisinud sest see oli rajatud kaljule. So if you hear and you do you'll be safe. Nii et kui sa kuuled ja sa teed, siis sinu on kõik korras. If you hear it and you do what God asks you to do. Kui sa kuuled ja sa teed seda, mida Jumal on pannud sul teha, you'll be blessed. Siis sa saad selle peale õnnistatud. And those of you who know this story, Jesus goes on and says there's a man who didn't hear and he didn't do and his whole world collapsed. Kes te teate seda lugu, siis te teate, et Jeesus läheb edasi ja räägib, et, et me, mees heitas oma maja ka liivale ja see ei jäänud nii hästi püsima. He didn't do what he heard. No, sest ta ei teinud seda, mida ta kuulis. He didn't do what he heard. Ta ei teinud seda, mida ta kuulis. And everything collapsed. Ja kõik varises kokku ja rängalt. So sometimes my what, what, I want you to see you can be your own worst enemy. Ja ma tahan, et sa näeksid seda, et sa ise võid olla ise enda kõige suurem vaenane. How many you know you can be your own worst enemies? Ma palju, et saavad aru, et sa võid olla vahest oma enda kõige suurem vaenane. You can stop yourself more than anybody else can stop you. Sa võid ise ennast peatada kõvasti enam kui keegi teine. You can hold yourself back more than than even the devil. Can sa võid ise ennast tagasi hoida veel rohkem kui isegi saatan suudab sind tagasi hoida. Because we are not doing what we know to do. Sest me ei tee seda, mida me teame teha. But thank God Jesus shows us the way through this type of, of, of fight. Aga täna Jumal on, et Jeesus näitab meile ja räägib meile, kuidas sellest võitlusest jagu saab ja läbi minna. Because Jesus submitted what he knew. Sest Jeesus alistus sellele, mida tema teadis. To God's will. Jumala tahtele. And he said, I know what it is that you want me to do. Ta ütles, et ma tean, mida sa tahad, et ma teeksin. And I really don't want to. Ma tegelikult tõesti ei taha seda teha. But your will be done. Aga sinu tahe sündi ju. I will do what you've asked me to do. Ma teen seda, mida sa oled palunud mul teha. It's not my choice. It's not where I want to go right now. See ei ole minu valik ja ma tegelikult ei tahaks seda teha. But I'll do it. Aga ma teen seda. God wants you to keep moving. Jumal tahab, et sa jätkuvalt liiguksid edasi. God wants you to keep going. Jumal tahab, et sa jätkuvalt läheksid edasi. God wants you to never stop 
in your growth and in, in, in your working for him. Jumal tahab, et sa kunagi ei peatuks ja ei lakaks kasvama tema jaoks. And you have a mission to accomplish. Sest sul on misioon, mis vajad täitmist. Each and every one of you have a destiny to fulfill. Igal ühel meist on oma saatu, mis vajad täida viimist. There's something ahead of you. There's a life. There's a goal. There's, there's a blessing that's waiting. Midagi on sinu, sin, sinu ees ootamas, sinu, sinu elu, sinu eesmärgi, mis vajavad täitmist. There's, there's, there's an impact that you could make on mingisugune mõju mida sina saad avaldada tegelikult. You can begin to change other people's lives. Kus sa võid hakata teist inimese elusid võib-olla muutma. If you'll just fulfill what it is that he's asked you to do. Kus sa lihtsalt täid, saadad täida selle mis ta on palunud sul teha. If you'll just just say God I will do the mission that you've sent me for. Kus sa lihtsalt ütled et Jumal ma ma valistun sellele plaanile mis minu elu üle paika pannud. I'll do it. Ma teen seda. I'll accomplish everything that you want for me. Ma saadan korda kõik need mis sa tahad et ma ta- teeksin oma elus. And I'm ready to do the work. To make sure that I do. I'm ready to put in the effort. To make sure that I accomplish what you've asked of me. And sometimes in life we get stuck in a situation. We come to a turning point. And then we just think, man, I just don't know if I'm ready to do this. Don't get stuck in life. Don't come to a, a, a decision and think, well, I just, oh, we can wait. There's, you know, there's no hurry. Because if you stay there too long, you're going to give up. Well, you know, I just, yeah, well. Right. I've been here so long now, why change, you know? Yeah. I wanted to change five years ago. I wanted to change ten years ago, actually. No, wait, I think it was twenty. Twenty years ago. I was. All right, Maimon, no, I think it's more like twenty-five. Right? How, how many know that you could get stuck and you don't even know how long you've been there? Because you've just given up. You just weren't ready to do the work. You weren't ready to do it because you wanted it your way or no way. If it's not easy, man, I don't, I don't want to put it in the effort. I want to look at Jesus here tonight. Jesus began his earthly ministry in the wilderness. Jeesus alustas oma teenistusi maa peal tühre maal. Remember he went into the wilderness and the devil came along and tempted him. Näeta, Jeesus läks kõrbesse ja, ja oli seal 40 päeva, 40 tööd ja saatan tuli ja kiusas teda. And Jesus just spoke the word. Ja Jeesus lihtsalt rääkis sõna. And those temptations didn't affect him at all. Ja need kiusatused absoluutselt ei mõjutanud teda. And Jesus comes out of that time of temptation with authority. Jeesus tuli selles kiusatuse aast läbi äh, meelevalaga. And he begins to change the world. Ja ta hakkab muutma maailma. Amazing. Vähemastav. Absolutely fantastic. Täiesti fantastiline. Then at the end of Jesus's ministry. Aga Jeesus teenistuse lõpus. He's not in the wilderness anymore. Ta ei ole enam tühere maal, ta ei ole kuskil kese kõrbe. At the end of his ministry, he's in the garden. Oma teenistuse lõpus ta tegelikult on ühes aias. And Satan is no longer tempting him. Ja Satan enam ei kiusa teda aias. Satan is no longer trying to pull him away from the plan of God. Satan ei üritada teda enam Jumala plaanist eemale kiskuda. Because he couldn't touch Jesus. Sest ta ei suutnud puutuda Jeesust. Jesus, when he is in the garden, kui Jeesus oli Ketsemani ajas, is not having to deal with the enemy. Siis ta ei pidanud seal võitlema vaenlasega. When Jesus was in the garden, kui Jeesus oli Ketsemani ajas, he's not struggling against the devil. Siis ta ei võidelnud seal saatanaga. When Jesus was in the garden, kui Jeesus oli ajas, he's struggling with himself. Siis ta võitlas tegelikult ise endaga. He's struggling with what he's going to do now. Ta võitles sellega, et mida ta nüüd peab tegema. And Jesus was in a fight in his soul. Ja Jeesus oma hinges võitles. And he said, I feel like I'm being crushed on the inside. Ma ütlesin, ma tunnen, et ma sisemisel mind surutakse puruks. I feel like I could just die right now. Ma tunnen, et ma võiksin kohe surra lihtsalt. Because of this fight that's going on on the inside. Lisad selle seesmise sõja tõttu, mis minus toimub. 
How many of you know if you get in your own way? Kui palju teavad, et kui sa nendas saad oma tahtmist. You can be your worst enemy. Siis sa võid olla oma suurim vaenlane. It's not no it's no longer anything you could blame on the devil or on you know somebody else. Siis kui sa vanad mööda, siis sa ei saa lihtsalt süüdistada kedagi teist või saatanat. Well, Peter would have just been nicer to me. Kuule, et kui Peter oleks lihtsalt mind paremini kohal. You know, maybe I would have had some more confidence. Veibola mul oleks julgust rohkem või enesed kindlust parem. Maybe I could have done something with my. Veibola ma oleksin suutunud oma enuga midagi peale hakata. But she wasn't nice to me. Aga kuna Peter oli ebaa viisak siis. So now I'm just here. I'm just here. Siis ma olen nüüd siin ja nad siin no, siin molen siin oma jää. How it's it's not it's her, not me. No, nad Asi ei ole minus, asi oli piles. <laughs> how many know some people are really stupid? Kui sa oled aru, et mõned inimesed on kõvasti rumalad. And how many know sometimes that's you? Ja vahest oled sa sina. Right? Oh, nii. Don't be stupid. Don't get in your own way. Aga ära ole rumal ja ära, ära aja ainult oma tahtmist. And so Jesus in the garden, it's, it's just before the crucifixion. Kui Jeesus oli ajas, siis oli otse enne riiste lööbist. Go with me to Mark chapter 14. Palun läheme Markus evangeeliumi 14. peadukki. Jesus knows what's about to happen. Jeesus teab, mis temaga hakkab kohe toimuma. He's already told his disciples on several different occasions exactly what's about to happen. Ta on oma jüngritele juba korduvalt mitme kordi öelnud, mis täpselt sündima hakkab. He said, I'm going to die. Ta ütleb, et ma suren. And I'm going to rise again. Ja ma tõusen taas ülesse. He said nobody takes my life. I, I lay it down. Ja ütleb, et mitte keegi ei võta mult elu, ma annan selle ise. No greater love. Ei ole suuremat armastust. Than a man laying down his life. Kui mees, kes annab oma elu. So he's all, he already knows what's going to happen. Ta juba teab, mis hakkab toimuma tema. He already knows the plan of God. Ta juba teab Jumala plaani. He knows what he is supposed to do. Ja ta teab, mida ta peab tegema. And he's struggling inside to do it. Aga ta võitleb oma sees, et seda teha. He's fighting himself inside. Am I going to do this? Or am I going to try to find another way? Ta võitleb ise ennaga enda sees ja, ja mõtleb, et kas ma nüüd teen seda või, või ma leian mingid muu moodus. I'm going to look for an easier way out. Äkki on mõni lihtsam, kergem nagu väljapääsu tee. Let's read this here in Mark 14, starting verse 32. Aga loeme siit Markus evangeeliumi 14. peadukist ja 31. salmist alustame. It said, and they went to the olive grove called Gethsemane, and Jesus said, sit here while I go pray. Markus 14. 32. Ja nad tuli paika, mille nimi oli Gethsemane, ja Jeesus ütles oma jüngritele, istuge siin seni, kuni ma olen palutanud. And so he told the group of boys to sit there, but he took three boys with him. Ja ta ütles oma suurele grupile, et jääge siia, aga võttis kolm kuti endaga kaasa. He took Peter and James and John with him, and he became deeply troubled and distressed. Ja ta võttis enesega Peetruse ja Koobuse ja Johannese ning muudus kurvaks ja tundis ahastust. And he told them, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Ja Jeesus ütles neile, mu hing on väga kurb, lasa surmani, jääge siia ja valvake. And he went on a little further and he fell on the ground. And he prayed that if it were possible, that the awful hour awaiting him might pass him by. Ja ta läks pisu teemele, langes maa peale ja palutas, et kui on võimalik, see tund läheks temast mööda. Abba, Father, he cried out. Everything is possible with you. Please take this cup of suffering from me. <coughs> ja ta ütles, Aba isa, sinul on kõik võimalik. Viise karikas minust mööda. And then listen to what he prays. Ja siis kuula, mida ta palutab. Yet I want your will to be done, not mine. Kuid ärgu sündigu see, mida mina tahan, vaid see, mida sina tahad. He's struggling inside. Ta võitleb ise enda sees with the choices that he's about to make with, the, with what he has to do to fulfill the call. Nende valikutega, mis tema sees on ja 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 sellest millil on tema eesmärk ja ja tema elu plaan, tema kutsumus. And then verse 37. Ja 37. salmis. And then he returned and, and and found the disciples asleep and he said, "Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you watch for me with for even one hour?" <laughs> ja ta tuli ja leides jüngrid magamas ning ütles Peetrusele, "Kas sa magad, Simon? Kas sa ei Mi jaks ühte ainsaki tundi valvata. Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation for the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Valvaka ja palvetaga et ei satuks kiusatusse, vaim on küll valmis aga liha on nõder. So it's night. These guys are tired. Ja nii et uh, hilja õhtu on juba nüüd tüvid on väga väsinud. Jesus is tired. Jeesus ise on väga väsinud. Peter, James and John are tired. The other boys are probably already all crashed out. Ja Peetrus ja Koobus ja Johannes on, on ka väga väsinud artisti, teised juba magavad ammu. You know, and, and he's saying, come on, you guys. Ja nüüd, et kulge, et te kolme kesti, ol, 
There's, there's, I know you're tired, but there's something more that we need to get through this. Et ma tean, et, et te oleta väsinud, aga meil on midagi enamat vaja, et selles kõige siin läbi tulemiseks. I don't want you guys to fall the temptation. Ma ei taha, et teie langeksite kiusatustesse. And so we need some power from on high. Pray. Nii, meil on vaja kõrgelt väge, väga ja abi. Jesus is, is, is wanting to, to make sure that he doesn't fall to, to a temptation to walk away. Jeesus taab kindlaks teha, et tema ei langi kiusatusse, et, et sealt minema kõndida. And so he says, I need to pray. Ja tüüdib, et mul on vaja palvetada. Guys, I need you with me here. Ja kuidu, mul on vaja, et te oleksite minu ka. I need you standing by me to get through this. Ja mul on vaja, et te seisaksite minu ka koos, et ma saaksin sellest läbi tulla. I feel like I'm dying inside. Ma tunnen, nagu ma olen seismiselt suremas juba. Help me to pray. Aidake mul palvetada. Help me to go to our father. Aidake mul minna minu isa juurde. Don't let me do this alone. Ärge laske mul seda lihtsalt üksinud teha. The story goes on. Ja nagu läheb edasi. Verse 39. 39. salm. And then Jesus left them again and he prayed the same prayer as before. Ja ta läks taas ära ja palvetas lausudes need samad sõnad. And when he returned again he found them sleeping for they couldn't keep their eyes open and they didn't know what to say. <laughs> ja kui Jeesus tuli tagasi leidist ja jüngrit taas magamas, sest nende silmad olid rasked unest ja nad ei teanud mida talle vastata. And then Jesus went away and he came back again the third time. Jeesus läks eemale ja tuli tagasi kolmas korda. And he said, all right, go ahead and have your rest. But no, the time has come. The son of man must be betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let's be going. Look, my betrayer is here. The third time Jesus came back, it was a completely different story. Kolmas kord kui Jeesus tuli tagasi, siis tegelikult lugu oli juba hoopis teine. The third time he came back, he was no longer saying, "Guys, why aren't you with me?" Et kolmas kord ta ei enam ütle, et kule, et miks te minuga ei ole? Why aren't you supporting me? I thought you loved me. Et miks te ei toeta mind, et ma ju arvasin, et armastate mind. You said you never leave me. Te ütlesite, et te kunagi ei hülga mind. I said some of you're going to betray me, and all of you said no, none of us. Mina ütlesin, et et keegi teist reedab minu ja te ütlesite, ei mitte keegi teist. Now you're sleeping in my time of need. Ja nüüd magate siis, kui mul on teid kõige enam vaja. The one time I need you guys and you're sleeping. Üks kord mul on teid vaja ja te magate. Come on. Kui hallo. He comes back the third time and he's like, go ahead and sleep, guys. On kolmas kord tuleb tagasi, ütleb, et Aga no magage siis. It's cool. Ma et pole. Oh wait, don't sleep. We Ai, gotta go. Tegelikult, ärge magage ka. <laughs> Meil on vaja minna juba. My accusers are coming Süüdistaja to take me away. On juba, süüdistajad on juba siin, on vaja minna edasi. I've been betrayed. Mind on reedetud. My night has just begun. <laughs> ja minu öö on alles alanud. Yes, we're tired. Ja, ma oleme väsinud. But this is not even close to being the end. Aga see ei ole ligi lähedalgi lõpule. It's time to go. On aeg minna. It's time to go out of the garden. On aeg minna aiast välja. I love the transformation here. Mul on väga meelib see muutus, mis siin toimub. And this just kind of hit me over the last couple of days. The transformation of Jesus in the garden. Ja see, see muutus, mis Jeesusega siin toimub, toimub selles aias, see on mind viimased päevad nagu väga hästi kõnetanud. Jesus went into the garden fighting himself. Jeesus läks siin aeda võideldes ise endaga. He wasn't fighting the enemy. He wasn't, wasn't trying to, to you know, overcome you know, a, a sin. Ta ei võidelnud vaenlasega, ta ei üritanud kuidagi mingis patust üle saada. He was fighting within himself. Ta võitles ise enneses. And he wanted to go an easier route if there was any other way. Ja ta otsis nii-öelda kergimat väljapääsu teed, kui on see võimalik. And he's praying, God, if we could figure out something else here, let's, let's do that. Ja peal valub seal, et Jumal, et noh, kui on mingi muu võimalus, siis teeme teist moodi. Have you ever had that prayer? On sul on kunagi sellist palvet. God, there's got to be a better way than this, right? Kule, Jumal, peabi kuidagi teist moodi saama kui seda, siis nimad ei pea ju tegema. You got to want, want more from me than this. This is... I, I, we we got to find out a better way. So it's in the garden. Where, where you get in your life. Maybe not Gethsemane, but maybe a garden type of a place. Where you go to God and you say, God, is there a better way? 
on, on olemas parem teeki. I want to be spiritually strong and I want to be mature and I want to be able to do great things. Jumala tahaksin olla vaimselt tugev ja vaimselt küps ja teha suuri asju. But I really don't want to do all the effort. Aga ma ei taha nagu nii väga pingutada. God is there an easier way? Jumala kas on mõni kergem välja väärse tee? Can you just anoint me and just bless me? Jumala kas sa lihtsalt võiks mind võida ja niimoodi et, et lihtsalt ma lihtsalt saaksin olla õnnistatud? Can you just lift me out of here on your heavenly wings? Kas sa lihtsalt ei saaks mind sellest olukorrast välja tõsta oma taevaste tiibadega? Take me to my destiny. Ja viimin minu saadusesse. Lord Jesus, I will give you praise. Oh, Isan Jeesus, ma ülistan sind. How many know those weak moments that we have? Then those prayers are never even. Kui pead teavad ja saavad aru, et vata kui ma olen nendest nõrkades kohtades, et siis palved nagu those prayers aren't answered. Et palved nagu üliul vastust ei saa. Don't try to figure out an easier way. Don't try to to read the Bible and say but okay, that's that's great, but let me find a better way. Ära üritä leida mingisugust kergemat välja pää so uh, uh, I'm sorry. Don't read the Bible and no. say, "Okay, that's great, but I'm going to find a better way." Et ära ära loeni mõte piibis mingi asja, et oh, seda ma ei teha, aga aga äkki lähme siit kuidagi ringiga mööda ja leema mingi kergema mooduse. It's got to be easier than that. That's that's pretty tough. No, asi peab olema natukene kergem kui see, mis on kirjas on, et no no mingi kergem moodus peab olema. No, I'll tell Tauri what to do. I'll, no, tell, I'll speak okay, the word. Okay, ma ma räägin Jumala sõna Taurile ja räägin talle, mida sõna ütleb, et mida tema peaks man, tegema. I, there's got to be a better easier way for me. Ja kuule, aga minul peaks ju ikka olema mingi kergem väljapäeva, sest tegema mingi lihtsam moodus on ju. You know, sometimes we're thinking that it's just going to cost me yeah. too much. Ja vast mõtleme, et kuule, et see läheb mul liiga kalliks maksma või? There's got to be another way. This is ju- this is too expensive. Ja peab olema mingi parem moodus, et see läheb liiga kalliks. This is too much for me. This is and, this is not what I would I was really planning. Kuule, et see on liiga palju minu jaoks. Et, et, et ma ei oodan, et see nii palju läheb. I really don't want to have to sacrifice anything. Et ma tegelikult ei tahaks nagu ohvardada midagi. <laughs> let, let me just let me just get to there without having to do anything. Et teeme äkki niimoodi, et ma jõuan sinna ilma, et nagu peaks pingutama, et sinna jõuda. Listen, the kingdom of God doesn't work that way. Aga teeme, et Jumala kuningriik ei toimi seda siin. The kingdom of God doesn't there there is no blessing without sacrifice. Jumala kuningriik on nästi niimoodi, et ei ole mingisugust õnnistust ilma mingi ohvrita. There is no reward without the effort. Ei ole tasu pingutamiseta. The closest thing, kõige lähedasem asi, would be how we get saved and our lives be transformed. Lihtsusele on, on see, see, kuidas me saame päästetud ja kuidas me muutume. That we believe in our heart and we say with our mouth. Et me usume oma südames ja tunnistame oma suuga. Jesus Christ is Lord and I'm saved. Jeesus Kristus on isand ja 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 me me olen vähem väsetud. It doesn't get much easier than that. That's just pretty 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 Sellest cool. Sellest lihtsamaks ära minna ei saa, see on päris lihtne. But listen, it still takes the effort. Ja kuule, aga see ikkagi ist nõuab pingutust. Because how many you know some people could come to church their whole life and never say it. Kui palju teavad, et et on inimesi, kes võivad kogu oma elu käia kooduses ja, ja mitte kunagi öelda neid. Some people could come to church every Sunday and never step across that faith line and make Jesus Christ. Mõni inimene võib iga nädal käia kirikus ja 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 kuulda neid sõnu ja ja mitte astuda üle selle usu joone ja ja võtta vastu vastus otsus. Never truly make a commitment to God. Et ei pühendu kunagi korralikult Jumalale. They just come to, you know, feel good. Nad no, lihtsalt tulevad selleks, et no, tunda ennast toreda alt ja, ja et saada neid külma väri näid nii alda. You know, just get that warm feeling because I was in church today. Ah, et oh, mul on sinne soe tunne, sest ma käsin koguduses. But I don't want to make the commitment. Aga ma ei taha pühenduda. Because I'm not ready yet. Sest ma ei ole veel valmis. What are you saying? Mida sa siis ütled tegelikult? I still want to do it my way, God. Jumal, ma tegelikult tahan teha ikka nii nagu mina tahan. I'm not ready to do it your way. Ma ei ole veel valmis tegema asju nii nagu sina tahad. There's too many beautiful women in this world to do it your way. <laughs> Kuule, et siin maailmas on liiga palju ilusaid naisi, et teha asju nii nagu sina tahad. There's too much money to be made to do it your way. Siin maailmas on liiga palju raha, mis vajab teenimist, et, et selleks, et teha asju nii nagu sina tahad. There's just too much temptation. Siin on lihtsalt liiga palju kiesotusi. To, then to do it your way. Et teha asju nii nagu sina tahad. So I'm not ready yet, but I sure et, do hope et, that someday... Jumal, Jumal, tahaks küll kunagi jõuame sinna, aga no, praegu mitte. I hope so. Ja küll kunagi võib olla. I'll be ready to make that step. Et küll kunagi ma võib olla võtan selle sammu ja, ja olen valmis. There is no reward without the effort. Aga tead, ilma pingutamist ei ole mingit tasu. You've got to sacrifice some things to get the blessing. Sa pead offerdama mõningad asju selleks, et saada õnnistusi. There's a price that needs to be paid in your life. Siin elus on ka asju, mis, mis, mis vaja võid hinda, et mis vaja vaad maksmist. And I don't know what it is that your price is. Ja ma ei tea, mis nii-öelda sinu hind on. But let me tell you whatever it is that God asks you to do it will be worth it. Aga mõtlen, et mida iganes Jumal palub sul teha, see on väärt seda ohvrit. If you can get through the garden. 
sest kui sa vaid saad sellest aias läbi minna if you can come out the other side kui sa tuled teise pool välja if you are ready to make the sacrifice kui sa oled valmis ohverdama and to do it god's way ja tegema asja nii nagu jumal tahab i guarantee you you will be so glad that you did siis ma garanteerin sulle et sa on väga õnnelik et kui sa teed i guarantee you jesus is not in heaven today ma garanteerin sulle et jeesus ei ole täna taevas saying god why didn't you have another way well as it jumal miks sul ei olnud teist teed i prayed and asked you why didn't you come up with a plan b jumal mõju palusin et miks miks ei tulnud mõelnud välja miks just plan b do you know how much that sucked to die alone on the cross ja kui rannes oli sel risti peal olla va kujutad see ette That's not the conversation they're having in heaven. See ei ole see jutu, mis seal taivas toimub. Jesus is like, I'm so glad. Jesus on nagu I paid the price. Väga õnnelik, et ta sai maksta selle hinna. I'm so glad. I did what you asked me to do. Jesus, mul on hea meel, et ma sain teha seda, mida sa palusid mu teha. Because now look. Sest vaata nüüd. Look at the people in the church. Vaata kõik need inimesi koguduses. Look at the people all around the world. Vaata kõik need inimesi ümber maailma. Look at all these people that have already come to see us. Vaata need inimesi, kes on juba tulnud, et näha meid. Look what we're doing. Ja vaata, mida me teeme. Look what that 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 sacrifice has done. Vaata, mida see offer on teinud. And all of heaven is worshiping the lamb for the sacrifice that was made. Ja kogu taevas ülistab seda talle ja selle ohvri pärast, mis sai toodud. He's not complaining. Ta ei dirise praegu. He's glad that he did it. Tal on hea meel, et ta seda tegi. If you would choose to make the sacrifice that God is asking of you. Ja kui sina otsustad teha seda ohvrit, mida Jumal on sinult palunud. If you will let go of some things, if you will pick up some things. Kui sa lased lahti mõnikatest asjadest ja korjad üles mõnikat asju. You will be so glad that you did. Siis sa oled väga tänulik, et sa oled seda teinud. You will be so rewarded and so blessed because of your sacrifice. Sinu ohvri tõttu sa võid saada niimoodi hea tasu lihtsalt. And others will be blessed ja because of your sacrifice. Teised inimesed võivad saada õnnistatud sinu ohvri tõttu. That's how the kingdom of God works. Seda see toimib Jumala, Jumala kuningriik. That we are blessed. Ja me oleme õnnistatud. And it doesn't stop there. Ja see jää sinna pidama. We are blessed why? Me oleme õnnistatud mille pärast? So that we can be. Selleks et me saaksime olla. We are blessed so that we could be a blessing. Mõne mõnistatud selleks et meie oleksime õnnistuseks. What's not in that verse there is there is sacrifice to be blessed so that we could be a blessing. Siis on mõsun puud on see et selleks et saada õnnistust on vaja ohverdada et sa saaksid olla õnnistuseks. You must sacrifice to be a blessing. Sa pead ohverdama selleks et olla õnnistuseks. You must sacrifice and do it God's way. Sa pead tooma ohvreid selleks et 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 teha asju nii nagu Jumal tahab. And there's more available to you than I think many of us know. Ja sinu ajaks on palju enam nagu kätte saadav kui paljud meist teavad. There's a life that you could live to impact people. Sa võid elada sellest elu, mis, mis mõjutab inimesi. Where people are going to be so glad that you've made the change. Kus inimestel on niivõrd hea meel, et sa oled muutus oma elust teinud. Where we're going to be able to help others to come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Me saame tuua inimesi isande Jeesuse Kristuse tundmisesse. Because there's people that you could reach for Jesus that nobody else can reach. Sest on inimesi, kellene sina nii võid jõuda, kellene keegi teine ei või jõuda. Success is never free. Edu, edukus ei ole kunagi tasut asja. Success costs something. Edu, edukus maksab midagi. The question is are you willing to make the effort? Küsimus on selles, et kas sina oled valmis pingutama selle. Are you willing to to make the sacrifice? Kas sa oled valmis tooma seda ohvrit? To be able to have the success that God desires for you. Selleks et sind saadaks see edu mida isand igatsevest sul oleks. Are you willing to pay the price? Kas sa oled valmis maksma seda hinda? Are you willing to take up the cup? Kas sa oled valmis tõsma seda karikat? Jesus said God Father, take this cup from me. Jesus ütles, et 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 isand võtta see karikas minust, minu lase see karikas läheb minust mööda. But the cool thing is. Aga väga asi on see. That at the end. Et kui lõpus. Before the night was over. Enne kui see õhtus läks mööda. Jesus made a decision. Jesus tegi otsuse. So father. Et see isand. I'll take the cup. Isa, ma võtan selle karika. I'll make the sacrifice. I'll, I'll do it. Ma toon selle ohvri, ma teen selle ära. Why did he come back different on the third time? Why did he come back and say just go ahead and sleep boys? Miks Jeesus tuli kolmandal korral tagasi teis moodi? Ütles, et magage. He picked up the cup. Ja ta korjas üles selle karika. He settled it within himself. 
it's cool now. Ta sai selle sõja lahi kui lõpuni oma sees ja ja otsustas ära. I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not under all this stress and pressure anymore. Ma ei ole enam sellise suure surve ja ja stressi all. I'm ready to take the cup. Ma on valmis et võtta seda karikat. You know everybody wants to fulfill the call. Kõik tahavad oma kutsumust täida viia. The problem is very few pick up the cup. Aga väga suur probleem on see et vähesed korrevad üles seda oma karika. Everybody wants to, to, to have the blessing but few want to put in the work. Kõik tahavad ju unnistusi ja vähesed on valmis pingutama. I don't want to have to give up my time and my life. Ma ei taha anda ma aega ja oma elu. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't want to have to do more than what I'm already doing. Ma ei taha teha rohkem veel rohkem kui mida ma juba teen. I don't want the pressure of stepping up into this call. Ma ei taha seda surve, mis mis kaasneb sellega kui ma kui ma selle kutsele vastan. I want the reward. Ja ma tahaks seda tasu küll saada. But I want it my way. Aga ma tahaks ikka teha nii nagu mina tahan teha. How many know that's the struggle inside of us many times no, when it comes to the things of God? Väga tihti, mis puudatab Jumala asju, väga tihti on meil kõigil samasugune lahing sees. If you're not willing to, to, uh, to give of yourself, aga kui sa ei ole valmis ise endast andma, then, then you will never be able to fulfill God's, fulfill God's call on you. Sa ei saa kunagi täida vihma Jumala plaani sinna peal. And, and we, we need to, to uh, do what God has asked us to do. Ja meil on vaja teha seda, mida Jumal on palunud meil teha. The kingdom principle is to give and it will be given. Jumala kuningriigi seadus on selline, et, 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 et kui sina annad, siis sul antakse. If you submit yourself to God's way, kui sina alistud Jumala teele, and you do what it is that he has asked of you to do, teed seda, mida tema on palunud sul teha, he will give back to you an abundance. Siis ta annab sulle tagasi, annab sulle rikkalikult tagasi. Press down, shaken together. Kokku surutud, raputatud. This is God's plan for you. Selline on Jumala plaan sinu jaoks. If you will take, it, take God's way and pick up the cup, Kui sina teed asju nii nagu Jumal tahab ja, ja, ja korjad üles selle karika. If you will do what God has asked you to do, whatever that might be. Kui sa teed seda, mille, Jumal, milleks Jumal on siin kutsunud ja mille, mis iganes see ka ei oleks. You are going to find then the power. Siis sa saad leidma selle väe. And the grace to go out and to be a success. Ja selle armu selleks, et minna välja ja, ja täide viia selle plaani. Once you make the decision that yes, I'll do it. Something comes inside that's going to lift you up. Kui sa lõpuks teed selle otsuse, et jah, ma otsustan minna ja, ja, ja teha, siis midagi tärkab ellu sinu sees. I remember struggling to even start the church. Ma tan kui ma veel võitlesin selle selle otsusega et alustada kogudust. It was a Gethsemane time for me. See oli selline Gethsemane aja aja aeg minu jaoks. I was like, Lord, go find somebody else. Sinu et kule isandu otsi keegi teine. Go find an Estonian, not me. Otsi mõni eestlane, kes hakkab kogudust tegema. Go find somebody who's better than me. Otsi keegi, kes oleks parem kui mina. Because I want to do it an easier way. Siis ma tahaks kõvasti kergemini asju teha. I want to do it, I want to do it in a place that's more comfortable for me. Jumal, ma tahaks teha asju nii, et mul on kõvasti mugavam. All right, I'll pastor, I just don't want to pastor uncomfortably. Mäet olgu, ma võin olla pastor aga mitte eba mugavalt. And I'm so glad. Ja ma nii õnnelik. That I came out of the garden. Ja ma tulin sellest ajast läbi. And I decided okay, I'll take the cup. Ja otsustasin, et okei, okay, ma võtan selle karika. I'll, I'll, I'll make the sacrifice. Ma toon selle ofri. I'll do what it is that you ask me to do. Ma teen seda, mida sa oled palunud mul teha. Man, you've got to have times like that in your life. Sul on vaja sellised aegu enda elus where you pick up what it is that he's asked you to do. Kui sa nüüd korjad üles selle mida sul on palu, mida Jumal on palunud sul teha. Were you ready to make the sacrifice that he's calling you to make? Ja sa on valmis tooma seda ofri mida ta palub sul teha. Because there's a reward that is waiting for you that you will not get to any other way. Sest sin doota bees tasu mida sa mille nei sa ei jõua mitte kuidagi muud moodi. Submit to the call of God in your life. Alistu Jumala kutsele oma elus. Saying not my way. Öeldes et mitte minu 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 moodi. But I'll do it your way. Vaid, nii, nagu sina tahed, I'm not going to go the easy way. I will actually take the hard way. Ma lähe kergema vastupanu teed, vaid ma tõesti valin selle raskema tee. Because I know that you're going to be with me. Sest ma tean, et sina saad olema koos minuga. I know I'm never going to be alone and I'm never going to be without help. Ja ma tean, ma kunagi ei ole üksin tema ja kunagi ei ole ilma abita. I know when I, when I do what you've asked me to do that, that I will not stand there on my own. Ma tean, et kui ma, kui ma jään siia seisma, siit, if I'm going to... When, you, when I do what you've asked ja me to do, seda, teha, I'm not going to stand on my own. Ma ei jää üksinda seisma. 
Man, if you know that he's with you. Kui sa tead, et tema on koos sinuga. And you've settled it within your heart that you're going to do what he's asked you to do. Ja sa oled oma südames selgusel jõudnud, et sa teed seda, mida ta on palunud sul teha. He's going to help you to get through. Siis ta aitab sul läbi minna. You can move on to your destiny. Sa võid minna edasi, liikuda edasi oma saatuse summas. You can keep going, you can run your race. Sa võid minna edasi, sa võid joost oma võidu jooksa. Run, Christian, run. Jookse, Kristlane, jookse. Go do what it is that he's called you to do. Mine ja tees neid asju, mida Jumal on kutsunud sind tegema. Go be who it is that he's Mina ei ole see, kelleks ta on siin kutsunud. But the problem is if we get stubborn. Aga olun, mis on kurb on see, kui me muutume põikpäiseks. And we try to do it another way. Ja üritame mingit muud moodi teha asja. We try to find an easier way. Ja üritame leida mõnda kergemat teed. We can get stuck in life. Siis me võime elus kinni jääda. That's where you have 50-year-old men talking about what it used to be like in Keskul. Seal tulebki see, kus 50-aastased mehed räägivad sellest, milline aeg oli ka keskkooli aeg. Remember when we won the championship? Ma ajate, et see oli tead vanad aeg, kui me võitsime neid... I scored 20 points that night. Kule, sellel meistri võistlusel ma sain seal 20 punkti. Slammed that guy. Remember when I slammed that guy and knocked him on his back? Ma ajate, ma panin sellele kuti täega pikali seal niimoodi. And I was having the game of my life. Ja see oli maailma parim mäng, mis mul kunagi on olnud. We were so proud to hold up the championship. Me nii, nii õnnelikud, et me lõpuks ikka saime selle meistrite liiga kätte. Because we were the best. Sest me olime parimalt. Really? That's awesome. How long ago was that? Jah, vägev. Kui ammus oli? Oh, 40, 40 years ago. Oh, nii liigend aastat tagasi, jah. They're stuck there. No, on jäänud kinni sinna ühte hetke. They're still reliving 40 years ago. Ikka elavad, elavad sama hetke läbi 40 aastat hiljem. And now they're middle-aged and they're wondering... What's life really all about? Ja nüüd nad on keske ikka jõudnud ja mõtlevad, et kuule, et aga milles elu seisnud? Because they've never moved on to the next phase. Sest nad kunagi ei, ei liikunud edasigi järgmisesse faasi. They've never left where they were to go to where God wants them to be. Nad ei, 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 ei hakkanud liikuma edasi sinna, kus Jumal tahtsid, et nad läheksid. And so many times people get stuck. Ja väga tihti inimesed jäävad elus kinni. They get stuck. In a phase. Ja näevad, jäävad mingise faasi elus kinni. And like, this is just the way it is for me. Et asjad lihtsalt minu elus ongi nii. You know, if you give in to what, what it is that God has called you to do. Kui sa, kui sa, uh, if, if you will in, give in to this, if et, you will do what Kui sa alistud, alistud sellele Jumala plaanile, kui sa, kui sa annad ennast Juma, sellesse, mis Jumal on sinu jaoks. You'll still remember your successes. You could still remember winning the championship. Siis sa võid ikkagi mäletada neid võite ja, ja neid meistri liigasid, mis sa oled võitnud. You could still be, be, be remembering all the good things that you've done. Sa võid ikka toetada meelda neid, neid häid asju, mis sa oled saavutanud. But they will not be the highlights of your life. Aga need ei jää sinu nii-öelda elu tip hetkedeks. Because what we're doing today, this is the highlight of my life. Sest see, mida sa teed praegu, see, kuhu sa oled jõudnud, see on sinu elu tip hetk. Amen. You could be 50 years old in the highlight of your life. Sa võid olla 50 aastane ja ole oma elu tip hetkes. How do I know? Kuidas ma tean? I got some gray hairs to prove it. Mul on natukene hälja juukse, mis tõestavad seda. You could be mid-age. Sa võid olla keskihaline. Knowing that you can do all things through Christ. Teadas, et sa suudad teha kõike läbi Kristusega. That there's something bigger and better that is waiting for you. Et midagi tugevamat, midagi vägevamat on siin nees ootamas. I'm coming out the other side. I'm going through my garden and I'm coming out with God on my side. Sa lähed oma aiast läbi ja sa jõuad teisel pool ja jõuad välja ja sa tead, et Jumal on sinuga koos. And nobody can stop me now. Mitte keegi ei suuda siin peatada. Nobody can stop me now. Mitte keegi ei suuda When we get stubborn, kui me muutume põikpäiseks, you know, Father, please give me another way. No, isa, kunagi, kuidaga aita mind kuidagi te- teist teeb. I want, to, I want to be called, but I don't want to make the effort. Jumal, ma tahan olla kutsutud, aga mitte pingutada nimega. Just don't want the sacrifice. Ma ei taha ohvredada. Man, if, if you do what he asks you to do, tead, kui sa teed seda, mida ta palus sul teha, you can go so much farther. Siis sa võid minna niivõrd palju kaugemale. And I might be talking to somebody here tonight. Võibolla ma räägin täna siin kellegi. Let me just say it this way. Las ma ütlen niimoodi. If you'd have been, if you'd have done what he asked you to do years ago, kui sa oleksid teinud seda, mida ta palus sul teha juba aastaid tagasi, you would already be where he wants you to be. Siis sa juba oleksid seal, kus ta tahab, et sa oleksid. Maybe you've gotten stuck in an area of your life. Ja võibolla sa oled mingis elu valkunas kinni jäänud. And you haven't gone to where he wanted you to be. Ja sa ei ole läinud sinna, kus ta tahtis, et sa läheksid. If you would have already moved, you would already be there. Kui sa oleksid juba liikunud, siis sa oleksid juba seal. But instead we're still complaining about, I just don't know if I can make it. Selle asemel me viriseme praegu ikka veel seda, et kui teta, aga ma ei tea, et miks ma oleksin teid ja ma ei tea, kas ma oleksin. Ja. Ma ei viitsi. Ja ma ei viitsi. <laughs> Right? That's I love that. That's probably the best Estonian saying there is. And that's, that's one of the... Uh, <laughs> you messed me up, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, uh, that... Uh, 
Et sä nyt pari vai tuo lentii nyt listalle? Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just don't, don't have the energy, don't even care. Right? And my holy, my, my, my vitsi, my jaksa, <laughs> my pohjana right. kikestä. You know, you, for instance, you want the great marriage and you prayed for it and you ask God for it. Näin, sä tahat täyslikku abiru ja sä olet oodan seda, palunud ja maalt seda. But you're not willing to make the sacrifice of your own habits. Aga sa ei ole oma enda harjumustes nõust oma ofreid. And you get stuck. Ja sa jääd kinni. You know, or, or you know, you want God to prosper your business, and you want to be blessed. But you're not willing to give up what you already have. And you're not going to pay your tithes and your offerings. Because I've got to keep what I've got. You're going to get stuck. So it's one thing to want the blessing and to believe for the blessing. Believe for the great marriage. Ja, usud, usud seda parimat abielus. Believe for your businesses to prosper. Usud, et su, et su äri lähevad edukalt. Edas. Believe for the, 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 the you know, influence you could have ja, on others. Usud, et sul on see mõju võib olemas, et sa sudad muuta ja mõjutada maailma. That's all great. Ja see on väge. But then what are you going to do? Aga mida sina teed? Well, I'm believing God. Oh, ma usun Jumalalt. No, but what are you doing? Ei, aga mida sa tegelikult ka teed? I'm standing on the word. Ja, ma seisan Jumala sõna peal. I'm confessing the word. Ma tunnistan Jumala sõna. But what are you doing? Aga mida sa teed? Well, I'm going to church and I'm praying. No, ma käin koguduses ja ma palvetan. And I know it's coming in Jesus' name. Ma tean, et see on tulemas Jeesuse nimel. Okay, but what are you doing? Okay, aga mida sa teed? I think the church kind of gets lazy sometimes. Ma usun, et kogudus vahest muutub väga laisaks. And we just think that all we have to do is know God's will. Ja me mõtleme, et ainus, mida me peame tegema, on lihtsalt teadma Jumala sõna. But we don't need to do God's will. Aga mõju tegema ei pea Jumala sõna ja omad tegi. When Jesus is praying, your will be done, not mine. Kui Jeesus palus, et Jumal sinu tahe sündi, kui mitte minu, It wasn't that Jesus didn't know what the will of God was. Siis asi on nüüd selles, et Jeesus ei oleks teadnud Jumala tahet. It was clear. So the ilm selge. He had already preached it. Ta oli juba seda isi jõutvustanud. For months now already. Juba mitu kuud. Don't let anybody tell you Oh, not my will, but yours be done. Because we never know what God's will is. If he heals you or not, I don't know. God's will be done. If he blesses your business or not, I don't know. God's will be done. You have relationship problems. God's will be done. We just don't know God's way. Lord, if it be your will, help us. But if not, your will be done. Oh, that makes me so mad. Because the church has gotten so messed up on this. There is God wrote a whole book telling us what his will is. I want you blessed. I want your relationships to be awesome. I want your body to be healed. I want everything you put your hand to to prosper. I want you to be happy. I want you to have peace. I want you to be filled on the inside with me. Ma tahan, et sa oleksid õnnelik, ma tahan, et siin oleks täitnud rahu ja ma tahan, et mina oleksin sinu sees ja mina oleks koos sinuga. Well, God, if you really want those things, your will be done. Aga Jumal, kui sa tahad neid asju, siis sinu tahe sündiv. That's not where you put that prayer. See ei ole see koht, kus sa selle palve paned. You put that prayer when you know God's will. And even though it's not going to be easy, you take a step of faith and you say, I trust you, God. And your will be done in my life. Because I'm believing you for that. That's what the God's will be done prayer is all about. I know the will. And now I'm ready to make the sacrifice 
to fulfill. Jumal, ma tean, mis on sinu tahtmine ja, ja ma olen valmis tooma neid ohvreid, mida sa nõuad. I've seen it in the word. I read it and there it is. Ma näen seda sõnas, ma loen seda ja ma näen, et siin samas ongi. Now I'm going to do it. Ja nüüd mul on vaja minna ja Because I don't want to be stupid. Sest ma ei taha olla rumal. I want to be blessed. Ma tahan minna ja teha ja olla õnnistatud. So I'll do it. Seega ma teen seda. God, your will be done. Jumal, sinu tahe sündigu. I'm standing on your word. Ma seisan sinu sõna peal. I believe you asked me. Usun, et sina oled kutsunud minu. I believe this is your will for me. Usun, et see on sinu tahe minu jaoks. I will do what you ja asked me seda, to do. Mida sa oled palunud mul teha. Because I believe on the other side. Sest ma usun, et teisel pool there's glory. On, au. on the other side I will bring you glory. Teisel pool toon ma sulle au. On the other side you will lift me up. Teisel pool tõstad sina mind üles. On the other side I will be able to be a bigger blessing. Teisel pool saan mina olla suuremaks õnnistuseks. On the other side you will be able to use my hands and I will be able to reach people. Teisel pool saan kasutada minu käsi ja, ja ma võin jõuda inimesteni. God I believe there's a call. Ja ma usun, et minu elu ei ole on kutse. And I'm ready to fulfill that call. Ja ma olen valmis seda kutset täitma. So God your will be done. Jumal, sinu tahtmine sündigu. Come out of your garden. Tule välja oma aiast. Don't stay at a place of inner turmoil and oh, what should I do? And I really don't want to. Ära jää mingisse kohta, kus sa lihtsalt võitled ise endaga ja mõtled, ma ei tea, mida teha. Get to the place where you can face those around you and say, it's time to go. Jõua sinna kohta, kus sa saad minna koos nendega, kes on sinuga koos ja ütled, et kuled, nüüd on aeg edasi minna. Let's go. Lähme. It's time to go. Let's go. Et on aeg minna, läheme koos. Oh, but you were just stressed. Ah, sa alles oli nii suur stressi all ju. No, it's, it's all, it's good. Hey, I'm ready. Korras, ma olen valmis. Läheme edasi. Let's go. Läheme. Got a job to do. Mul on vaja tööb. Got some things on, to take care of now. Mul on paar asja, mis vajab tegemist. Come on, let's go. Läki nüüd, läheme koos. Come on. Come on. Man, I love this. This is what I get. See, see on see, mis ma nagu saan sellest. Jesus goes into the garden. Jesus läks aeda. Needing the boys to be the support. Vajada seda, et ta, ta sõbrad seal oleksid tema jaoks toeks olemas. How many know when you're in the garden you need support? Ja kui palju teavad, et kui sa oled nii-öelda ise seal ajas, siis sul on vaja tuge. When you've got that inner turmoil and you're crushed inside. Kui sul on see sisemine lahing ja sa oled seespidiselt kokkus surutud. It is so good to have somebody come and say, man, I'm believing God with you and you're going to be all right. Siis sul on hea, kui keegi tuleb sinu küljale ja ütleb, et kuule tead, ma usun koos sinuga Jumalalt ja, ja, ja ma tean, et kõik saab korda. I'm with you. Ma olen koos sinuga. If you need me, call me. Ja kui sul on vaja, siis heista mulle. I'm praying for you. Ma palvetan sinu pärast. You're not going to stay here, you're coming out. Sa ei jää siia ja sa tuled siit välja. Tuleb siit läbi. You're coming out. Sa tuled välja sellest. How many know we need that? Kui palju teavad, et meil on vaja seda? How many want to be that for somebody else? Kui palju tahaksid ise olla keegi selline, kellegi teise jaoks? We need to be looking. Meil on vaja vaadata. Looking otsida. for people that are in the garden. Meil on vaja otsida ise ka, näha neid inimesi, kes on selle so ajas. So we can go stand beside them and say, you can do this. Et saaks minna nende külje ajal öelda, et kule, et kus on vaja, ma olen sinu jaoks olemas. I believe in you. Ma usun sinusse. You can do it. Sa suudad. Jesus goes into the garden saying, boys, stand with me. Jeesus läks aeda ja öeldes, et Kutid, seiske minu, minuga koos. Pray with me. Palvetaga koos minuga. Guys, pray. Kutid, palun palvetage. I need to make a decision. Pray. Mul on vaja teha otsus, et palun palvetage. Pray for me. Palun palvetage minu pärast. Watch with me. Vaadake ja jälgige, valvake minuga koos. But how many you know other people aren't going to lose sleep? over your decision. I go with that that these dinimes they caught on a und selleverast et sul on vaja teha otsuseid. You might lose sleep. Sina võib olla mõne asja pärast ei maga. But other people usually don't lose sleep. Aga ta asjad teised dinimes et sinu probleemide pärast ei kaota und. They'll pray for you, they'll believe God, they'll stand and say God just bless her and help her and be with her and use her and thank you Jesus. Ja nad palovad ja nad seisavad ja nad ütlevad ja Jumal palun õnnise seda ja 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 palun kasutada seda ja viida edasi ja liiguda. The prayers are Ai, see palve on palutud siis. Oh, kule, ja tööd. And then you're up all night. Ah, sina oled pooled üleval seda tõttu. Three nights later you slept for four hours. Kolm nüüd hiljem sa kokku neli tundi magandud. Because on the inside you're just like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Sees mis sa lihtsalt ei tea, mida ma nüüd teen. I know what is right, but it's just hurting. Ma ju tean, mis on õige, aga noh. Usually other people are going to lose sleep over the problem. Teised inimesed sinu probleemide pärast ei kaota unna tundja.
But Jesus comes to a place. Okay, Jesus jõudis kohta. When he comes back and says, all right, guys. Kus ta tuli tagasi? It's okay. Ma ütlesin, et kutit, okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Ma olen valmis. I'm ready. Ma olen valmis. I'm ready. Ma olen valmis. He goes into the garden needing the boys. Ta läks aeda ja, ja siis ta vajas neid kutte. He leaves the garden. Ja ta lahkus aiast. Not needing any buddy. Mitte vajades, mitte kevagi. Get this. <clears throat> Sadaru. Jesus leaves the garden. Jesus lahkus aiast. Ready to take the cup. On les valmis seda karikat kanma ja hoidmises kinni. And he knows that nobody else can help him. Ja teda, see, mitte keegi teine ei saa teda But he's in this all by himself. Ja teadis, et ta seisab selle asjaga ise. Nobody else can pay the price, especially Peter. <clears throat> mitte keegi teine ei saanud maksada hinda, mida teva pidi maksma, isegi, eriti mitte Peetrus. John certainly can't do <clears throat> Johannes ka kindlasti mitte. And James calls people stupid, so he can't do it. Ja Koobus ütleb, et inimesed on rumalad, siis noh, tema ka ei saa. So I have to do it. Nii et mina pean seda tegema. I'm ready. Ma olen valmis. Let's go. Läki. They come and they say, we're looking for Jesus. Nad tulid ja nad ütlesid, et kulge, me otsime Jeesust. And he says, I am. Ja Jeesus ütles, et mina olen. And when he said it, the whole army fell on their backs. Because he was speaking from a place of authority. There was no more turmoil. He was no longer being pressed. The Garden of Gethsemane was the place of the pressing. That's what Gethsemane means. It's where they took the olives and they crushed it to make olive oil. Jesus leaves the pressing and he's changed. And now he's ready. For whatever is about to come. Mille siganes, mis teda ees ootab. And he says, throw your best at me, I'm giving myself. Ja ta ütles, et te, ange oma parim, ma annan ennast teie kätte. I'm giving myself to you. Ma annan ennast teie jaoks. I'm giving up for you and for the rest of the world. Ma annan ennast alla teie nimel ja kõikide te, ülenud inimeste nimel siin maailma, maailmas. You looking for Jesus? Kui otsid Eesust? I am. Mina olen. Are you the son of God? Kas on Jumala poeg? You said that I am. Sa ütles, et ma olen. He was ready. Ta oli valmis. The Bible said he went without a cry. Bible ütles, et ta läks, ta läks ilma nutmata. They beat him with a whip until his back was ripped open. Teda peksti piitsaga, kuni tema selg oli täiesti ribadeks kistud. And he never opened his mouth. Ja ta ei tein korda, kui ma suud lahti. He hung on a cross and became sin for the world. Never cried out. Until the very end, when the Father, the Spirit of God, left him. Because he could no longer be a part. This was the thing that was so stressful. It's the spirit of God left Jesus. And that was the torture. And that's when he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken? And then with another breath he breathed and he was gone. How could he do that with so much Kuidas ta võis kõige sellest läbi minna nii võrd suure väga? That when he died, the earth shook. Et kui ta suri, siis kogu maa värises. Saying, that's my creator. See on minu looja. The sun went black. Päike läks pimedaks. How can I shine? You've killed the creator. Ja kuidas päike sai särada, kui te olite looja hävitanud? All creation mourned. And the soldier that stood there said, Oh my God. That must have been the son. Your 
will be done. Your will be done. I'm ready to do the work. I'm ready to do the effort. Because I know you'll be with me. And then the empty tomb. Thank God for the empty tomb. Amen. It was not over when everybody thought it was over. And over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be getting more into this, and it's going to be awesome. Easter is awesome. Amen. This should be the time that we are bold to get people to church because it's awesome. The empty tomb. Man, it was worth it all. That's what it was. It's worth it all. The angel said he got up just like he said he would. Just like he said. Nõnda nagu ta ütles. Just like he said. Täpselt nagu ta ütles. Just like he said. Täpselt nagu ta ütles, et ta teeb. Just like he said he would. Täpselt nagu ta ütles, et ta teeb. Just like he knew. Täpselt nagu ta teadis. That if you'd make the price. Et kui sa, kui sa täidad selle hinna. The world would be changed. Siis maailm saab muudetud. Hallelujah. Amen. Would you stand with me? I know it's late. I don't even know. Tõsema on palun koos püsti. Me näetan hilja aga. Father, I love you. Isam armastan sind. Thank you so much for your plan that was fulfilled. I thank you so much for Jesus Christ who you sent for us to come pay a price that we could never have paid. Jesus, oh, we love you. We worship you. We lift you up. Because you made a choice to do it for us. You made a choice to fulfill the plan because you were the only one that could. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the price. Thank you that you made it for us. Thank you that you opened up a way for us to be able to be with you forever. We receive that. We receive your life. We receive your call. We receive your word with joy. Now, Father, I pray that in the hearts of each one that is listening to this message, that we would say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to make the effort. I'm ready to do the work. I'm ready to give of myself. I'm ready to make a sacrifice. Because it's going to be worth it. I'm going to move from the garden to a place of glory. Because I trust you that your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for touching our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for using us. Thank you, Lord, for making us better than we've ever been. And I trust you. And I thank you. In Jesus' name. And everybody who agrees. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, thank you so much for coming tonight. Go have an awesome rest of your week. Use this fire. Make the choice. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you.